All right, greetings to the 12 tribes of Yasharala that are scattered to the four corners of the world. I'm back with an another video. We may as well keep going. Um, in this video, I'm going to share um, a dream that I had, and then I am also going to discuss like us being deceived with the food. Um, all right, so in my dream, um, basically, the dream was about something else. I just know that in the dream, I was outside of my home. I was on the way to my home. And as I was approaching my home, I it was like an angel in my dream got my attention and pointed and told me to look over to my side and when I looked there was um like military type people um attempting to um they were waiting they were they were they were just waiting on this the queue to um not only come into my home but you know, um, I'm assuming other homes because it was a lot of them. They were just waiting to invade. So uh, that was one dream that was, you know, concerning. And um, other people have had similar dreams. So I just remember scrambling with my keys, trying to get into my home and uh, trying to get my my bag um so anyway i had that dream it's been at least six weeks ago you all um and it has really really been you know heavy on me um uh, you know had me up at night and um i just want to share it um Okay, also, there's some stuff going on with these, you know, there's some, I, I'm going to say it like this, there are some legislate, there are some legislative things being put in place due to the Venezuelan gangs, and um, I, I just want to say that the legislative, the, the, if you read the paperwork or you hear, uh, you know, what these people are saying that they need to put in place for these Venezuelan games is very vague. When I say very vague, it it is as if, you know, it can apply to anyone. This means you, you know, um, it can apply to anyone. It's no, it's, 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 <laughs> it's just worded to where, um, is very very vague and it the they they you know they have a database but there's no particular description um or qualification for the person is whomever they deem um and and so yeah it's you know sounds like possibly a way to just you know, pick any one you choose. And um, so then I want to talk to you all about, I made a video on this, you know, about four years ago, the um, track and trace, the House of Representative Bill 6666, Operation Track and Trace. Uh, it stands for testing, reaching, and contacting everyone. Um, so this, so there's a database, I'll say this, there's a database for who all did receive and who all did not. And so they plan to, I guess, maybe, you know, maybe you didn't know, maybe you, you didn't know that you didn't receive it or you weren't aware, um, of it. So, you know, they, they have money. 
and um, people are going to be sent out from door to door um, along with the military from door to door to um, because their job is to make sure that everyone gets it. And they are even um, they 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 even have mobile units, mobile units um, available, uh, you know, mobile medical units with the inoculations and anything else needed in the vehicle. And per this, um, you know, families can be separated. If you don't have it, you can be a threat to your family that does have it or vice versa. So therefore, uh, people will need to be remo removed out of the home. You could be a danger to your children, you know, things of that nature. So really, really... Um, Uh, some hard. I'm trying to look for the right word. I was about to say gruesome, but you know, some very um disturbing, disturbing to say the least. Disturbing things are. Excuse me. Are put in place, um, and about to be rolled out. Um, I hope you all are looking around you because you can see this system, you know, rolling out all around us. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about is something that I recently found out that um, I know for myself, I was kind of taking pride in the fact that, you know, I've been vegan for at least, well, okay, I'll say in twenty in two thousand and three, I stopped eating red meat. I stopped eating shellfish, you know, shrimp and crab. I never was a lobster person, and I stopped eating uh pork. So pork, red meat, and shellfish, I stopped doing in two thousand three. So from two thousand three till around two thousand fifteen, um, I pr primarily just ate poultry, and um, and fish. And then I gave that up around that time. Uh, so I became a vegetarian. I still did cheese. And um, I'm going to say around a couple of years after that, maybe around 2018, 2017, I went ahead and gave up cheese um, because I was having uh, stomach issues and going back and forth to the doctor. And I just decided to give up cheese and just become a straight vegan okay for my family I still cooked with like smoked turkey and um although you know although I like for instance if I made a pot of greens I would make theirs with smoked turkey I would saute some olive oil saute some onions, peppers, and uh, chopped garlic in some olive oil, and then I would throw my greens in there. So, I, I, you know, I would cook two different things, but when I started seeing my family like my greens, and they didn't have a problem with it, with the vegetable stock, so I started, um, you know, we all, I just, I just stopped using smoked turkey just a few years back. However, y'all are going to be just disappointed because I recently found out that we've been, they've been still feeding us ham under the pretense of um turkey. So that is the next thing I'm going to show you. Um, we're going to talk about clean and unclean foods. So this is the leg of a, like a baby pig, a suckling piglet. And these are the legs that we have been given when they cut the foot off. These are the legs that we've been given as smoked turkey. And, you know, putting in our greens and stuff, thinking that we're, not using ham hocks anymore and we're not doing pork. 
Um, this is a smoked turkey leg. This is a recipe. It says how to cook store-bought smoked turkey legs. But when you think about it, look how wide his hand is just holding or gripping that leg. All, all we need is, a, is some little toes on the end. That is a pig leg. That's a smoked pig leg. Now let's take a look at this. It's roasted wild boar leg with a mustard caper sauce. This is a recipe that I pulled up for that. someone barbecuing a roasted wild boar leg and look at the similarity between this wild boar leg and this turkey leg. Okay, so this is a turkey. And let's look at this leg. We see this turkey leg is not, it doesn't look um, as wide or anything like the legs we just saw. And, um, okay, so I before I go further, I'll let you all know why I started to look it up because I came across a reel on Facebook that uh, where this lady said that she saw a video, someone on TikTok was at a county fair and they bought, you know, you go to a county fair, you get the two turkey, you know, her and two people, they bought two turkey legs. As they were eating it, they both noticed that there was a ham taste. It tasted more like pork. So they went back to the counter and told the person, hey, these turkey legs aren't tasting right. They taste like pork. And the person said, well, I mean, they are pork. What are we supposed to do? Call them pig's legs? You know, they're, they're pork. But we just call them turkey legs for the sake of the fair, pretty much. And, um, And they were like, what? So, you know, when you look it up, so look at this, this actual turkey leg. Saying all that to say that I saw a Yaki Awaken video and he was saying how we should not be eating turkey because turkey is unclean. Turkey and vultures are in the same family. They're the same bird. And um, so this is a turkey that I pulled up. And, you know, this is a vulture and they do look very similar. Here is a family of vultures. And this particular bird is called a turkey vulture. This is supposed to be a cross between a turkey and a vulture. It's called a turkey vulture. So when you look at it, they do look like you know they're in the same family now i have a friend uh that that i just met actually celebrating tabernacles um a week ago and um she said that and just in conversation that uh we were discussing food and she was We were saying also that we don't think we're supposed to eat chicken because, you know, most black people not only have a not only are lactose intolerant, but also have um, some type of the lechins in the chicken gives us problems. So most although we you know, although our people love chicken, we shouldn't be eating it. So she she was telling me that she didn't think we should be eating turkey or chicken. And she said that um, she saw a video years ago. where a guy said um, he he had an old Bible, a very old Bible, um, and he had one of the newer Bibles and he was comparing, comparing the verses. She said where it got to clean and unclean meat, that there was, um, as he was, he was reading them ver both verbatim, but the old Bible had that, that the white, vulture is unclean and we should not eat the white vulture but she said when he read the new the newest translation you know it, it the white vulture was removed so um and we were thinking like okay chickens are white turkeys you know can be white and so i looked up you know the white vulture and That's mainly what comes up when you think of, 
you know, Thanksgiving. Remember the people that the pilgrims that came over to colonize this land and supposedly, you know, the first Thanksgiving, they sat down with uh, the Native Americans and ate turkey, which I don't think, well, we know that we know that that was just not true whatsoever because one, we know that that it was a massive genocide that took place on, on um, Thanksgiving. But then the the Aboriginal Americans knew what was clean and what was unclean. So they wouldn't have never um ate this unless they were forced to. Now, what is now when we think about how, you know, our people were forced to eat pig and stuff, um and having pigs slaughtered on the altar during um the time of Maccabees. But what are the two unclean meats because now that i'm looking at these white turkeys they do look like white vultures and this will line up with that bible um verse and this will also line up with what yaki said but um we know that there is a holiday that's coming up next month and what's going to be on everyone's table a turkey and a ham so um okay i also i'm going to you know i'll i'll post what i can or link what i can below but i also want to talk to you about um okay i no longer consume like seaweed or sea moss i used to have um like go to the asian restaurant and i will get vegan um vegan sushi rolls with just like avocado uh carrots avocado carrots and cucumber um you know wrapped with the wrapped with the corn i mean i'm sorry wrapped with your sticky rice and your seaweed and um and then I will also buy sea moss. I will buy sea moss and I will take a spoon of it and put it in my smoothies um every morning. And like one day I bought a jar, you know, I bought a jar and I was convicted and I was like told to repent and don't use any more of the sea moss. And so I just threw the sea moss away, but I kept the nice mason jar that um, there was a smoothie, organic smoothie place not too far from my home, and they sold it. So I kept the mason jar they put it in, but I, you know, um, dumped out the sea moss. And as I did research on it, I found articles um, and people, you know, this basically saying that sea moss isn't clean, we shouldn't eat it. Um, the the kingdom or the family that it's in um, it's more so in sea moss it's a algae um, it's an algae it's more so in the fungi and bacteria family and we should not be consuming that we have allowed these people not you know we already allowed them to tell us we're African but we have allowed them to tell us um, that oh this has a hundred plus vitamins and minerals, all that you need, you know, uh, is, is, is in this and we're forbidden to, to eat what crawls on the ocean floor. We can't, we can only eat things with skins and, and, uh, with fins and scales, but we're consuming what grows on the, on the bed of the ocean floor that the, that they eat. That uh the algae, the seaweed and the sea moss is the diet for the crabs and the mussels and the lobster and everything. We shouldn't be consuming that. Um if you were to go to a lake and you see some green sludge on the top of the murky water or at the bottom of a tree, you're not gonna gather that up and dry it out, dehumidify it. I mean not de um use a um hydrator and 
dry it out and then blend it up and start, you know, you, you, you're not going to do that. So it's like, we should not be doing that. It's, it's unclean. I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll try and link the, um, video and, a one or two, um, like papers that I read about it. Blue spirulina is in the bacteria family. It's a bacteria. And, um, we should not be eating bacteria consuming that that breaks our dietary laws. I have stopped within the last year or two. I've stopped eating mushrooms. Mushrooms are fungi. Mushrooms grows out of, you know, you can take a dirty sock and leave it on a a, a wet, moist, um, a wet, moist carpet and have a mushroom grow up from it. You know, I've seen somebody take like old old books and um like spray the spray all the pages inside and have and maybe put something else on there and then mushrooms start growing up on the book. We should not be consuming it, you all. They are not a part of the plants or animal kingdom. That's the those are the only two kingdoms that the most high gave us permission to eat from. Um also mushrooms reproduce asexually through spores. And matter of fact, I think um what I what I named as far as seaweed, sea moss, and blue spirulina, they are alive. They're they're living. And they reproduce asexually as well, meaning they break off and reproduce like by cloning. And I do remember seeing a video. I probably won't post it tonight, but if, if I have time, I'll post it tomorrow. But I do re remember seeing a video of a military um person that was giving a talk. And he was saying how they can control um spores. They can do like mind control through spores and he actually gave an example of he showed a little clip of a memory that they inserted in a uh spore and when they broke off or or the the spore cloned asexually and so many so many times down the line they checked the memory and it was in the clone, like it was still being passed down, passed down. So um, it's all kind of stuff being done out here. And we just have to be careful to make sure that we are trying, you know, to um to keep the dietary laws. We were told that we can't do what the nations do. So just because it's the newest, hottest thing on the bandwagon, um, you know, let them do that. Um, chlorophyll, chlorophyll, the green chlorophyll. Um, I, what did I have? I was, I, I had something. I can't even remember what it was. Maybe two weeks ago. It was something that I was, um, about to consume. And I think I went to lick it up just to see should I even be eating it, and um, and then I think like they, you know, they're trying to put pork and things under different names. And one thing that I just happened to see is that chlorophyll. Um, some they're making chlorophyll with pork. Um, they. There is a bone char that's in white sugar. Like you can get pure, supposed to be 100% cane sugar, and it has bone char in there that can be from pork or beef for some reason. I don't know why. I mainly use as my sweetener agave or um, maple syrup, but, you know, um, I would do cane sugar every now and again or uh brown sugar you know put brown sugar in different things that i would make i can make like vegetarian baked beans 
with brown sugar and you know come to find out that they're putting some type of pork bone char and beef bone char that we don't know if it's clean or not like even if they do it with beef we have to watch everything um let's see do i have anything else Oh, I want to tell you all, like even for my juices, I try to consume um juices that say pork, like pressed, uh, yeah, cold pressed juices. And another thing, because they're using pork in a process, in a pasteurization, pasteurization process of juice. But I had taken pride And, you know, like, okay, I'm not using lotions, all these lotions and deodorants and toothpaste. I was using coconut oil for everything because there are supposed to be natural properties in coconut oil that will kill bacteria. And, you know, people do oil pulling with their mouth. So I use coconut oil. I put it in my hair. I use it as my lotion when I get out of the shower. I brush my teeth with it. Um, You can put uh, lime and just squeeze lime. Um, rub lime or squeeze lime juice under your armpits. You don't need deodorant because the acid will, will kill any bacteria and prevent any smelling. So I was doing stuff like that and I only washed my hair with African black soap. Y'all, I found the recipe. I wanted some chocolate chip cookies. I haven't had cookies in forever. So I found a rec recipe for some vegan chocolate chip cookies that require uh coconut oil at instead of you know butter or any type of you know like vegetable oil or anything like that so i put made the chocolate chip cookies put the coconut oil in and first of all when it spent about thirty dollars in ingredients trying to buy you know everything organic and um as soon as i've been into the cookie the cookie tasted just like pork even my friend's son that was over He bit the cookie and said it tastes like pork rinds. And um, y'all, the 100% extra virgin, cold pressed, unrefined coconut oil was ne is nothing but lard. We're, we're lard with coconut scent to it, fragrance to it. They have us using pork fat. I've been rubbing myself down with pork fat, brushing my teeth with pork fat. Like they know the times that we're in. And so they're doing whatever they can do. We have to be, do our due diligence, but then stu, still too diligent, pray and ask for the most high, repent and ask for forgiveness for what we don't know. Okay, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. You all have a blessed evening. Shalom until the next video.